Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of comparing and ordering decimals. This is standard 5.2b in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 21 off the Redesign Practice Online Star Test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have got uh, some fish tanks, and the table shows four of his measurements. And look at this. Tank Y has the second least amount of water. That's kind of a strange way to, to write that. So let's open up our graph draw feature so we can draw all over this. I'm going to increase my transparency. And hit that draw button right there. So I need to put these in order, it looks like, from least to greatest. And you've got, you notice that they got these centered. So my decimal points are all over the place. All right, so let me do this. I'm going to, looks like it goes to the tens place as the highest, right? And then it goes boom, boom, boom. Okay, so it goes three digits to the right. And so I'm going to uh, write just a little bit of place value right here. Tens, ones. Now there is no such thing as once, but after you get past the the once that don't exist, the rest of the decimals are just a mirror of what you see on the whole number side. So hundredths comes after tenths, just like hundreds comes after tens, and then after tens and hundreds would be thousands. So for my decimal, it's going to be thousandths. I might be running out of room here. I'll put the THS down there. So that's going to be this spot right there. And so let's just start lining some of these up here. So V has got 10.1. So always just kind of center it around that decimal. So to the left of the decimal, it's going to be 10. And then I've got a point one, one tenth, 10 and one tenth. Now I've got 10.019, so that's 10 and 19 thousandths. So we're going to write my 10. And then on my decimal side, 0, 1, 9, 0, 1, 9. All right, then I've got 10.9. I've got something that is uh, missing in Y, but it's the second least amount. So I don't even know what this is in order yet. So first I'm going to have to order this. 10.009. 10 and 9 thousandths. You just read this whole chunk right here as a unit, like 9. 009 zero, zero, is just 9, and then you read the place values in 9 thousandths. So if I'm looking for least, okay, so I want to put these in order from least to greatest. And in order for me to do that, um, these two that just go to the tenths are going to be kind of tricky, so watch this. I'm going to put some zeros. You can always put zeros after a decimal and add to it. So now everything in the tens and the ones place is even, right? It's going to be ten point something. So I'm not even going to look at that. I'm looking at what do I see in my decimal places. I've got 100, so that's what we're comparing. I've got my 100. 19, 900, and I've got this 9. So if I'm looking at least to greatest, let's do least to greatest. My smallest is going to be that 9. So I'm going to write 10.009. Now, tank Y is the second least, so there's going to be a blank. So I'm going to leave that blank. And what's my next smallest? It's 19. 10.019, or 10 and 19 thousandths. Uh, if it matters, right, the, the fourth one would be 10 and 100, or 1 tenth, and then I've got my 10 and 9 tenths, or 10 and 900 thousandths. Okay, so I need to find something that goes right in between here. So really, I'm looking at 10 point something between 9 and 19. See, and that makes it pretty easy right here. So between 9 and 19, it's going to be that 15 right there. So my answer is B.